bags and this is my free one and two hoop all levels workshop based around horizontal moves and the corkscrew. Whoosh. I hope you enjoy it. It's quite a long tutorial because it's kind of the equivalent of what you might get if you, if you had a workshop with me at an, an event or festival. But to make it easier to navigate the workshop, I've added some buttons in the bottom corner here. So if you want to skip forward or skip back or jump back to the index, then these buttons will allow you to do that very quickly, which hopefully makes the, uh, the whole video a lot more easy to use. For example, if you wanted to skip this introduction, you could click on the forwards arrow and jump straight to the warm-up. At all times during the workshop, I'm going to have a red band on my right wrist and a green band on my left wrist. And then, pretty much all the time, the red hoop's going to be in my right hand and the green hoop's going to be in my left hand. This should help you to see at all times, really clearly, where my right hand is and where my left hand is. And hopefully that will make it nice and easy to tell what's going on. If you enjoy this workshop, why not catch me on my 2013 Dreaming Circles US tour with Valentina Martin. More details of dates and places can be found in the video description. Also, I've got a twin hooping module you can buy at Hoop City, which will teach you lots and lots of other doubles moves, which you'll find very, very useful. You can find more details of that again in the video description. Lastly, this video is completely free. But if you have particularly enjoyed it or found it very useful, you're very welcome to make a donation to me. There's a link in the video description to a PayPal button, which allows you to do just that. Any donations, even if it's only the price of a cup of coffee, are greatly appreciated and allow me to keep doing what I'm doing. So thank you. Right, so without further ado, let's get on with the workshop. Okay, before we pick up our hoops, we're just going to do a quick physical warm-up. If you don't want to do the physical warm-up, you can skip forwards by clicking on the forwards arrow. But I would recommend you do it just to, to help you warm up your body a bit. And I'm going to talk about a few ideas which are useful to think about in terms of hooping in general. It's, uh, we're going to look at, talk about some planes, direction and timing, which uh, are very useful in the spinning arts. They come into point and staff a lot, and they're very useful for hooping as well. So, first of all, let's just shake ourselves out of it. Oh, I find this a good way of starting to warm up your body, but without being anything too active. Yeah, just shake everything out, give everything a bit of a scrunch. Ah, mm. But, now I'm going to do some arm circles. So let's start just by rolling our arms forward, like this. Now in spinning terms, when I spin my arms on either side of my body like this, this is side plane. Like this is side plane, because they're going on sides. The other plane that we use a lot is wall plane, where they're going in front of me, or in front and behind. So this is very useful in spinning terms. Uh, lots of tricks can be done in both side plane and wall plane. It's also a good warm-up for our arms. So yeah, do a couple of those. There we go. Now also we can do different timings. So here, I'm spinning my arms one at a time, like this, in opposite directions. We could do the same time, same direction. Looks like this. And we go one way, and the other. And you can bend your knees a bit into this movement, if you like. So warm your legs up a bit at the same time. Remember to breathe the whole time, even while you're warming up, and also remember to breathe while you're learning tricks. Often find yourself holding your breath, which makes everything a lot more difficult. Right, let's try something slightly more complicated. You're probably used to spinning your arms both forwards at the same time, or one at a time. Like this, this is front crawl, back crawl. But another trick that's quite useful for spinning and also good for warming up your shoulders is if one arm goes forwards and one arm goes backwards, like this. So I start with my arms straight up in the air, and I move one arm backwards, also twist my hips, move one arm backwards and one arm forwards. So one arm circling backwards, one arm circling forwards, like this, side plane. So now my arms are going opposite directions at the same time, side plane. Now I change direction, do it the other way. Don't worry if you're not following all these terms, it just helps you to, to start to think a bit about these ideas. Right. While well, warming our shoulders up at the same time. Okay, then I've got to jump and shake on the spot. Okay, now let's warm our wrists up a bit because we're going to be doing quite a lot with them. So, first of all, I want us to do this corkscrew move with one hand. 
Now the way I think about this movement, where I'm doing a circle above and a circle below, it's just like doing a figure eight, but it's doing it horizontally. So often in spinning we talk about the vertical plane, like this, and the horizontal plane. So this video pretty much entirely concerning tricks in the horizontal plane. So we're going to twist our hand around with a circle below and a circle above, like this. Now one way you can think about this is if you have a plate, maybe a plate of food, and you're trying to do a curl with it. So I curl my hand down and I curl my hand up. Curl it down and up and I can do it without spilling any of the food off the plate, like so. You might need to distort your body a bit to keep your hand nice and flat. So try that with both hands, both directions, and try it with both hands at the same time. And again, you can experiment with this idea of timing where they're both going in the same direction, they're going in opposite directions, they're going in different timings. You just explore how many different ways you can connect these two. Well, one pattern, but with, uh, with each hand. And also it's great by warming the wrists. And again, warm your arms and shoulders a bit as well. And lastly, I just want to do a bit of a twist on the spot. So I'm twisting at the hips, keeping my feet planted, and just letting my arms bounce off my body. Now, we're going to be doing lots of turning in this workshop, and I want us to keep changing direction. If we keep spinning in the same direction, we're going to start to get very dizzy. So I don't want us to spin in one direction, I want us to keep changing direction. So if we start as spinning one way, maybe we can do a little bit of a twist, wrap our arms, and spin the other way. Like so. So do that for a minute so. Right. Lots of points in this workshop. I'm going to be asking you to stop the video and to put on a song and try flowing with the movements that I've been teaching you. So we're going to do that now. Even though we've just been waving our arms around. I want us to try doing this to a song, I want us to try dancing with it, I want us to try doing it different levels and jumping around. The idea of this exercise is to feel how freely we can move with our arms without the hoops. And then I want you to think about how you can take that into a movement. So I just want us to pirouette, move your arms around in circles, change direction lots, jump, come down low, come down high, just wave your arms around. Might feel a little bit silly, but it's a good warm up, and again, it's just helping you get, get into this idea of freedom of movement. Don't think about why you're doing the movement, don't try and make it look good, it doesn't matter what it looks like, the point of it is purely for moving around and feeling nice and free. So, pop on a song and have a go at that. Right, that's the end of this section. Okay, so now let's pick up our hoops. Now all the arm circles that we were just doing in the warm-up, we can do with the hips in our hands. Don't need to do any grip changes, we can just spin them around our body. You might find that uh, the, uh, the hoops are too big for you to keep your arm completely straight when you do these full arm circles. That's fine, you can just lift your arms up slightly, bend your arms slightly, you can find ways to make space for the hoops in the pattern. So all this turning around and moving we were doing in the last exercise, you can do with the hoops in your hand. You can come down, you can jump, you can spin on the spot, change in direction. All the arm circles where you have one arm going forwards and back, just start moving around with your hoops. And it looks very effective, like they're big movements, it doesn't need to be complicated, it doesn't need to involve complicated patterns or grip changes. These big circles that you can do with your arms out straight can look really amazing. So let's look at uh, some tips which will, which will help us move around more with these. You've tried this horizontal long arm pirouette. Like this. this looks very pretty. We can change the direction that our hips are facing or that our palms are facing just by twisting our wrists over. So this is with my, my hands facing downwards, like this. And if I want my palms to be facing upwards, which we will need in the workshop, you can just twist your arms up. You can also bring them flat, like this which creates another image. Similar sort of idea, you could bring your hands together, creates a slightly different image, or your hands together up here. So if I put my palms facing upwards as I'm spinning around, you just gently bring my palms together. And you might notice that this makes you move around a little bit faster when you bring your hands in. We've got a nice big arm span, slow you down a bit. When you bring your hands in, oof, tends to whip you around a bit. 
So that's something we can use. We can also try it down at our hips. Feels quite nice. Just bringing our arms in, shooting us around. We could do it with a little jump. So if I'm spinning my arms horizontally, I could pop in my hands to my hips and do a little jump, and that was spinning around. That feels quite nice. Feels quite exciting. So that's, so that's a fun one to play with. Now, at this point, if you haven't changed direction yet, you might be getting a little bit tired. So let's look at a way we can keep changing which direction we're spinning on. So we're going to do that with, uh, with some hoop breaks. So what I want you to do is I want you to, uh, with holding the hoop with your palm facing downwards, I want you to try hitting the hoop against your body like this. So it changes direction. I've got my arm bent. As it hits my, hits my side, I twist into the hoop a little to slow it down with my body and then throw it back. Take a while to play with this and try doing it with two and it feels quite comfortable. The way you're trying to do it is to keep the hoops nice and horizontal the whole time. You don't want to bounce them off your body and have them drop down. You want to absorb the momentum with the twisting the hips so you can keep the hoops nice and flat. And now you can start to spin in both directions. And if you combine this with different levels and different arm movements, it starts to look quite pretty. Even though, again, it's very, very simple movements, nothing complicated, but still quite effective and fun to move around. Next, we can try spinning one, one arm above the head while we've got one arm reached out in front of us. So if we're spinning around like this, I can twist one hand face up like this, palm up, and bring it above my head. Now my hand's inside the hoop, so I can spin up my hand. Like this. And if I want to come back down, again I can grab the hoop, and I can turn my hand over as I come around. So it's back to both hands facing down. So I'll show you that again while I'm spinning. Twist the hoop over, bring it above my head, spinning up my hand a bit, and then grab it, come back down, come back down, twist it back over, and now I'm back to the start position. And I can do a few hoop breaks and then turn the other way. I'm trying to get in the other direction. Twist it over and spin up my hand. Now you notice if I sort of drop this other hoop that's sitting out, it looks a bit messy. So try and keep this one nice and presented out to the side. I don't know that variation we can do when our hands are above our heads. This one, we put our hands together. We can drop the hoops and let them just come down to our elbows. And then if we stretch out our arms, the hoops just flop back into our palms if I keep my fingers up. So that's a nice little variation to do as well. What I want you to do now is I want you to stop the video, and again I want you to put on a song. And what we're really trying to hit, uh, achieve here is a freedom of movement. I don't want you to be overly thinking about what you're doing with the hoops, I just want you to be waving your arms around and feeling what it's like for your arms to be pulled out by your momentum and when you bring your arms in, spinning faster, using different levels, coming down, jumping, and uh, remember to change directions so you don't get busy. Put on a song now, have a go at that, and then come back to the video.